Hey everybody, my name's Brendan and today is a Thursday thought. So each week I'm just going to give you a bit of an insight as to something that I've learned over the past week and I think you should know. And I think it's something that will benefit all of you listening. So with that, I'm going to dive in. But first, I'd really appreciate it if you could just push the thumbs up button. It would mean a lot to me. And if you like the content, do click the subscribe button. Uh, that means that you stay up to date with all of the new content that I'll push out. But let's gloss over that because this week I'm going to talk about a book I've just finished reading. It's called Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. Quite frankly, I'm just astounded. Full disclosure, I've listened to it, but I've also got it in hardback. So I keep flicking through the parts that have been super interesting and really I just just full of absolute knowledge bombs. A number of times I've just sat back and thought, bloody hellfire, what's what's going on? So really the point of this Thursday thought is that I would encourage you all to read it. I mean just astounding. Everything from did you know that decaffeinated coffee still has 30% caffeine in it? The, the effects of caffeine will probably last between anywhere in five and eight hours. So, you know, that, that mid-afternoon coffee that you have is going to affect you nearer midnight. Mind-blowing. Didn't appreciate that at all. Matthew talks about how tiredness is actually a greater killer on the roads than alcohol or drugs or driving under the influence. The, the, the lack of emphasis that's placed on sleep is incredible. I know we see the signs on the, mo on the motorways saying uh, rest if you're tired, but really when they talk about falling asleep at the wheel it's not like when you're under the influence where you have delayed reactions. You might actually not see anything and that split second could cause a monstrous pileup. Anyway, I'm not meaning to be really morbid about it, but the, the tiredness aspect was, was mind-blowing for me. Other, other things I've learned, uh, tiredness and lack of sleep can influence dementia, can cause early onset, can, can aggravate the effects of it. Uh, ooh, the, cats, the cats are going at each other, that's quite, that's quite interesting. Um, you know, if you, if you go more than 12 days without sleep, you can die. That's pretty serious, so I would highly encourage you to do that. But you know, even going back to the basics and saying, why do we proclaim that we should always have eight hours? Well, you know what, that's actually down to the physiological circadian rhythms. It's your natural body clock saying that these are the amounts of hours that you should have, and it's measured in efficiency. So the point is, if you climbed into bed for eight hours and you slept for seven, your efficiency is seven-eighths of the time that you've been in bed. That's how sleep is measured. There are almost too many insights to pass on here, but really the takeaway was that good and consistent sleep is one of the greatest health benefits we can have. We focus on mental health, we focus on physical health, but my word, we ignore the sleep part. Yes, teenagers get a bad time for the fact that they're perceived to be lazy because they get up late and go to bed late. Well, in actual fact, that's down to their circadian rhythms. There's a whole wave of research that says all schools should start a bit later because, you know what, the equivalent of, of teenagers and youngsters getting up early is equivalent of adult life being woken up at four in the morning and told to go to work at 4.30. You're gonna be a bit groggy. I mean, it just, there's a whole heap of them and really, you, you read it and you listen to it and you just sit there and think, my word, why have I not paid more attention to sleep going forwards? Two things I want you to take away. One, Sleep is not like a bank balance. You can't go overdrawn during the week and then try and stock up at the weekend. You know how it is. You do four or five hours during the week because you're just under the cosh and then at the weekend you think, I'll sleep 11, 12 hours. It doesn't work like that. The, the way that it works best and that you get the most out of your sleep to be productive, and there's a stat that there's $100 billion a year that's wasted or lost because of poor productivity as a result of poor sleep, about 10 billion uh, directly and then 90 billion in the remediation and the fallout from that. The point is consistent sleep day after day after day builds up to give you the greatest health benefit. So you can't go overdrawn and then restock at the weekend. It just doesn't work that way. So think about it. If you wanted to increase your productivity two, three, four, five fold, chances are consistent good night's sleep will help you get there mind-blowing. Businesses, employers, they focus on getting the best out of people when they're at work. One of the greatest things they could probably do, according to Matthew Walker and the research that's been conducted, 
make sure that their employees get sleep. So he talks about the 12 key tips that uh, everybody should take away. You know, there are some along the lines of the nightcap that you're going to have, it's going to disrupt your sleep. You probably know that. Don't drink caffeine in the afternoons. You probably know that. But the number one tip that he wants you to take away is set a sleep schedule. Now, we all set an alarm to get up in the morning. Has anybody ever set an alarm to go to bed? There's a lot of research that says you know, going to bed at the same time and getting up at the same time, even at the weekends, is massively beneficial for your body and for your productivity and for your mental state. So why don't we do it? I'm not going to give away any more of the book and I'd really, really encourage you to read it and I'll put some links in the descriptions below. But think about setting a sleep schedule. That is the single greatest thing he says we could do. Might make sense, especially if you could improve your productivity day after day. Anyway, I'll leave that with you. This is the first Thursday thought. So with that, I will see you in the next video.